The following is a commercial program paid for by Little Rock Trojan Sports Properties and the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. The opinions and views expressed belong to its sponsors and are not those of Next Star Broadcasting Incorporated, the station, or their affiliates or employees. Ray Tucker. The Daryl Walker Coaches Show is brought to you by Stevens Incorporated, Dillard's Department Stores, Cleve Addy, Bath Makeover of Arkansas, Zips Car Wash, and Leaf Guard of Arkansas. It was indeed a good week to be a Little Rock Trojan. Let me back up and say this. It was a great week to be a Little Rock Trojan. If you don't believe me, ask the guy next to me here, Coach Darrell Walker, as we went on a two-game road trip. Went to uh, Coastal Carolina and App State, Darrell, and picked up a pair of wins. Yeah, anytime you can win, you know, winning is, is, is great. But when you can go on the road and win two games on the road, most coaches just want to win one game. We were able to win two games. It was a good road trip for us. All right, let's take a look at the league standings, if we may. And uh, this is a, really a nice sight here. I know you don't talk much about it with your team, but Little Rock had sole possession of first place. The two Georgia teams uh, lost over the weekend, so you moved up to first place, and that now it's yours to take. Well, we're going to take it one game at a time, Ray. You know I, I don't talk about this. I have a bigger goal than the finishing in first place in the Sun Belt. Don't get me wrong, it would be nice to do that, but at the end of the day, we have a bigger goal. All right, let's take a look at highlights from game one against uh, Coastal Carolina. We flew into Myrtle Beach, uh, and then uh, Conway's about 10, 15, or maybe 30 minutes out of there. And so you guys got off to a great start in both these games. Well, we shot the ball well uh, in both games, but the more importantly, we really we really defended. We, we held this team, I guess, to 57 points. They averaged about 80 points a game. So I thought defensively on the road that we really showed up, and that's why we were able to get a win. I thought Lottie really played well for us. He's been starting for Marquise, who's been hurt with a hamstring, but I thought Lottie really played well in both games. You know, in both games, Ben Coupette got us off to a good start. Yeah, ben, Ben's been more aggressive. I've asked him to be a little bit more aggressive offensively to try to take good shots, to try to rebound and get in the lane. He's been doing that. And overall, uh, I'm happy with the way we're playing defensively. Yeah, we're shooting the ball pretty well the last two games, but defensively, we're really getting after people, and that's the key. Coastal Carolina, one of those teams that lives by the three, and pretty much took that away from them. Yeah, I think they were 5 for 25 from the uh, three-point line. They usually make 10-11 a game. And when they, when they make a bunch of threes, they usually get a win. So I tried to keep the game in the, in the 50s or the 60s, and we were able to get a win. First half, uh, Coastal Carolina, 9 of 38, just 23%, and they were 2 of 13 on threes. Well, we defended, right? And I know I'm, <laughs> I'm, sounding, I'm sounding redundant, but at the end of the day, we, we got after those guys. Uh, we made sure that we contested shots. They had a lot of good shooters on that team. We wanted to make sure they didn't get any open looks, and if they, they did get a shot, it was de definitely contested. That's a beautiful move by Lottie right there. In the first half, you guys shot 48%, 2 of 7 on 3, 5 of 10 at the free throw line, which I know you're disappointed in that, but you got better as the week went on. Yeah, the week went on, we got better on the free throw line. Lord knows we practiced them a lot, Ray. You've been a lot of my practices. We definitely practiced free throws. Beautiful move by Ben right there to get that dunk. We moved the ball, we shared the ball, and uh, I was happy to see Nicola finally, finally play pretty good in this game. He's been trying to get his rhythm. That's an unbelievable pass right there, by the way, by Lottie right there. That should have been on Sports Center. <laughs> Uh, but we got after these guys defensively. We rebounded the basketball. I thought our pick and roll defense was good. Overall, I thought it was a great team effort, Ray. It really was. You have an intimidator on the in inside by the name of Root Monyong. <laughs> uh, was it this game he had seven blocks? I think it was this game. Yeah. It, it was this game he had seven blocks. We had, we had ten blocks as a team. Uh, for a guy to have seven blocks at any level, uh, that's, that's unbelievable. Root, right now, Root's playing like an all Sun Belt Conference player right now. Uh, you were up by 13 at the half, 33-20. You held this team who averages 80 to 20 points and a half. Yeah, we, we got after it. Uh, we knew the game plan. The game plan was, look, these guys want to get up and down the court, and they want to shoot a lot of threes. So we got to make sure we contest their shots. And then, Ray, we controlled the tempo of the game. We didn't try to get in a running up and down game with those guys. We controlled the tempo of the game and made them play defense. That's kind of bizarre. Coastal Carolina did not shoot a free throw the whole first half, as well as you defend. Yeah, we, we defended without fouling. Most coaches want to do that. It doesn't happen uh, for a whole half like that, but we, it happened for us, and it was good for us. That's Nicola. Great post-up position right there. That's what he brings to our team as a post-up presence, but we've been missing that. Well, he pounded in on the inside. Oh, he's a, he's a big kid. And that's Marcos finally, finally, finally getting his groove a little bit, even though he's behind because he wasn't able to practice when we were dealing with the NCAA. But good kid. Both of those kids are really good kids, Ray. You know that. 
If Marco was one of the seven dwarfs, he would not be bashful. <laughs> no, no, he he got a little cockiness to him now. He's 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 you know he's he's played overseas a little bit, and so he's played the game. He understands the game how to play. But really, a good basketball player. Those two have been a nice addition to our basketball team late in the season. Final score in this one, <clears throat> excuse me, Trojans win at 71-55. Uh, struggled a little bit handling the basketball uh, down, the, down the end, but hey, a win is a win, and you got a nice win in Coastal Carolina. Yeah, I, I told the guys I wasn't happy how we ended the game, Ray. I thought we just turned the ball over. It wasn't really a lot of pressure. It was some soft pressure, and we turned the ball over, and we had to correct that. All right, uh, we've got more to come in the Darrell Walker's Coaches Show. Uh, second game of the week, we went to App State over in Boone, North Carolina. We'll take a look at highlights of that one when we come back with more of the Darrell Walker Coaches Show. Are you tired of climbing over that old outdated bathtub? What if I told you a brand new beautiful walk-in shower was only a phone call away? From Mountain Home to El Dorado, Bath Makeover of Arkansas is your trusted local source for bathroom remodeling. Bath Makeover offers a full line of bathtubs, showers, and accessibility products such as walk-in bathtubs and barrier-free shower bases. Bath Makeover products are made in the USA and include a lifetime warranty plus a five-year workmanship warranty. Take advantage of our winter savings sale. Call now to save 50% off labor. Don't risk a fall from the ladder trying to clean out clogged gutters. Call LeafGuard of Arkansas. Get the only patented leaf shedding and rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. The seamless design draws water in and keeps leaves out. Little Rock Trojan fans, act now to double your bonus from a $100 to a $200 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. 1-800-678-5862. Little Rock, the conference season is in full swing. Become a part of the action and get to the Jack Stevens Center to watch your Trojans. Single game tickets start as low as $9 with plenty of opportunities for special group outings, including sweet nights, terrace experiences, or even a night on Derek Fisher Court for your corporate events. Coach Walker has his program rolling at the start of the new year, while Coach Joe Foley and company look to keep their winning tradition alive. For more information and to learn how to get your individual or group tickets, call the Little Rock Trojan box office today at 565-8257 or visit lrtrojans.com. Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Don't risk a fall from the ladder trying to clean out clogged gutters. Call LeafGuard of Arkansas. Get the only patented leaf shedding and rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. The seamless design draws water in and keeps leaves out. Little Rock Trojan fans, act now to double your bonus from a $100 to a $200 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. 1-800-678-5862. Saturday afternoon in Boone, North Carolina, our Trojans are trying to make it 2-0 on the road on this road trip. Uh, took on Appalachian State, a team that uh, has, has pretty pretty darn talented for us as their best player. And you guys did a nice job on the leading score for Coastal Carolina and App State. Well, for us, is, I think it's going to be first team all Sun Belt. Uh, that, was a, that was a job for Lottie. Lottie did a good job, and so did Isaiah came in, did a nice job on him. He scored 20, but it was a hard-earned 20, and I think we kind of wore him down. What is it about this basketball team? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> they like some win on the road. <laughs> well, I'm glad they like to. I, I don't know or if play too, on the road. I, I, I think say. they're too young to understand <laughs> that they're on the road, and that's good for me as a, as a coach. Uh, we don't have any fear of the road. This team has no fear of the road. They go in, they lock in. Every time we go on a road trip, I call it a business trip, right? We're going on a business trip, and we're going to win a basketball game, and they lock in. Trojans and the Mountaineers, let's take a look at highlights of game two for our Little Rock Trojans. This was Saturday afternoon, Boone, North Carolina. Trojans end up winning this one 73-57. And for the second game in a row, you got off to a good start. It's all, you need to get off to a good start on the road. Uh, that's that's Jovan making the first basket of the, of the game right there. Uh, he really had a nice game for us, career high, 18 points. Uh, once again, defensively, we, we locked in. We were active. We had a lot of deflections. Uh, that's Lottie on force right there. Uh, we're getting up on the shooters. Uh, we're, we're, we were just active, man, very active, and we were able to get out in the open court some. 
they had a <clears throat> very nice crowd, 2,700 uh, for the game, one of the bigger crowds we've seen this year on the road. And kudos to them. We hope to get the same thing when Troy comes to town Wednesday night. The Jack Stevens. Yeah, we would, we would love to have 2,500, 3,000 in the Jack, Jack Stevens Center on, on, on Wednesday at 6:30 playing Troy. Uh, that's us running our offense right there, being steps behind. The guy goes under the screen. I teach it. They go under, stop behind the line, and take the shot. And he did exactly what I've been teaching. Uh, overall, I thought we executed well. We need to take care of the basketball better. I don't like what we did on the trip for as turnovers, but uh, we defended. We got after people, and we shared the basketball. Uh, really moving the basketball and getting a lot of assists. There's Ben Coupet over to Kamani Johnson. Great look, pass by Kamani. Look at inside, 6'10". 6'10", 6'11", with those long arms, man. He's a, he's a long kid, man. You know, a couple of times I've said he's in position to be, and there's a lot of basketball left to be played, to be a newcomer of the year. He might be up for player of the year if he keeps playing like yeah, this. He, if he's playing the way he's playing, he's dominating, really affecting the game with block shots and, and altering shots. You all shot it well the first half, 14 of 25, 56%. You were four of eight on threes and five of six at the line, much better than in Coastal Carolina. Yeah, when you when you on the road and you can get off to a good start, that's that's really good. It kind of makes your defense go, gets, gets to going, and then offensively uh, you get to going. So if you got those two things going at the same time, you're going to have a good chance to win on the road. You know, a number of your guys are showing improvement. Jovan, a, a true freshman uh, from Serbia, uh, playing much better and, and playing with confidence. I was really, really... Uh, happy for Jovan the way he played and the way he shot the ball. And really, he's been really good defensively. Nobody talks about that. They talk about his shooting, but I thought he's been very well defensively. Uh, probably shouldn't be shouldn't have started some of the games that he started, but now I had to play him. And now I'm glad that I did because he's getting more and more comfortable out there as a basketball player. <clears throat> Bless his heart, as my friend Bobby Bent would say. Um, He's playing with a broken nose and, and wears that mask, and that's got to be a pain. That mask is really, I think, bothering him some, but he's playing through it. That nose is not healed yet, so he really can't take that thing off. Uh, that's Nicola right there trying to trying to post up. He's a, he's a big target down there, man. He's a load. Uh, we're happy to have him back, Ray. Coach, talk a little bit about what you try to establish offensively with the elbow there. Well, at the elbow, we're, we're, we're trying to go high-low and look 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 for uh, Kamani and Root and uh, Nicola down there in the paint because we got some size and we got some guys that can do some things down there and we also play off the elbow when we we hit the elbow we do a lot of moving a lot of cutting a lot of moving without the basketball uh, my office is, is predicated on reads and these guys are really starting to pick it up I think there are times where you have like maybe two or three fr true freshmen out on the floor I did last year I, I, I did last year and, and you know uh, Markle's a freshman, and you know Isaiah's a freshman, and then you got Yovan's a freshman. Those guys have been out in the court together, so it's not going to hurt us. It's going to help us down the line. It's going to help us down the line for sure. In the second half, you guys shot 51.8%, uh, 33% on threes, five, uh, and at the free throw line, you were 5 of 7 for the game. Shot 53%, uh, heated up the free throw line 10 of 13. So. A true, 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 uh, all-around team performance. No, it was, to me, it was a team performance. And defensively, I just thought we were, man, I thought we were just all over people. The, the weak side help was there. The rotations were there. Uh, a lot of deflections. A lot of, a lot of uh, contested shots. There's Kamani contesting a shot right there, running out there contesting a the shot. There's Root blocking a shot. So we were, <laughs> we were active defensively, man. I mean, I sat on the bench and, and said to Coach Baker, man, these guys are really defended, man. And we did. That's our little elbow action right there. I call it corner action. That's Lottie coming off, making a making a jump shot. He's been shooting the ball a lot better. He's been shooting the ball a lot better because he's taking mid-range shots where I think he's a solid shooter in the mid-range area. I started to say, the two of you had a little talk about him shooting threes, which he's not had success. But I tell you what, he, he's a heck of a floor leader when he's running the show. Well, I try to tell guys, I didn't, <clears throat> I, I didn't shoot threes either, Ray. You covered me, and I didn't shoot him in the NBA. I mean, you have to do what your skill set says you are. And, and Lottie's skill set says he's a, he's a downhill player and he's a mid-range shooter and he's been playing really good staying in that row right there final score on that one 73 57 we got out of there it was an afternoon game the weather was uh, going downhill in Boone, north carolina it raining there it was raining yeah. and about 37 and was seven degrees and it uh, they had ski resorts there so we didn't want to get it stuck in Boone, north carolina <laughs> no. nothing against Boone, north carolina I, i've never skied and I don't, I don't plan on skiing well i'm not going skiing i don't know how much <laughs> snow how much snow they had there or not all right uh, coming back we will uh, have a special piece uh, Marquis Snow, the Trojans' outstanding point guard, who's been out like what four games now? Been out four games. We miss him. All right, we do. We'll talk more about about that when we come back for the Darrell Walker Coaches Show. What's your current mood? Are you in the mood for tacos, burgers, pasta, or maybe sushi? We all have those days when we're just too busy to cook or go out for a meal. Enter Bite Squad. No matter what you're craving, you can order restaurant food on the Bite Squad app. 
and we'll deliver it right to your door. And the best part? No prepping, no cleanup. Just really great food from your favorite restaurants. Bite Squad. Food for your mood. Delivered. Embarrassing. Sad. Shameful. There's never an acceptable reason for driving dirty. Not with Zip's Unlimited Wash Club. For as little as $14.95 a month, members join Unlimited Washes. That's less than 50 cents a day. So, show some pride and Zips your ride. Join Zips Unlimited Wash Club today. Zips 3-Minute Car Wash. Zip in, zip out, zip on. Duck hunting with Evans is one of my favorite things to do. It's a tradition in our family, and we've been hunting for generations in Arkansas. I grew up hunting with my dad, and now I do it with Evan. And it allows us to spend time together. It allows us to be outside and enjoy Arkansas teaching them about nature, teaching them about the life lessons that come with it. It's one of my favorite things to do. Shop Vail Chevy and VailChevy.com today. Make your lawn care a breeze this summer with outdoor equipment from Cleve Addy. Discover their large selection of Steel's newest products that run smoothly and last long to save you time and energy. Steel power tools are designed for reliability and built for the long haul. And when you buy your steel products from Cleve Addy, you buy from a dealer with a rock solid reputation of providing excellent service. Come by Cleve Addy, where our knowledgeable team can provide the guidance and advice to help select the right tools for you. Anybody who knows anything about basketball knows that one of the keys is having a good point guard. And you've got a couple of them in Marquis Noel and Jacek Lott. Yes, I do. Been blessed to have really two good point guards. That's, 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 uh, uh, that will help you win basketball games. All right, Marquis, who at one time was a leading scorer in the conference, averaging about 18 or 19 a game, uh, uh, leading in assists, leading in steals, steals. Uh, pulled the hamstring in a game, and we, uh, you have missed him. Um, and talk about what, what he brings to the table. Well, that's, that's, that's 20 points and four assists <laughs> that, I, that I don't have on the court right now, along with, along with two steals. But you have to be very careful with hamstrings because if you, you understand, you've torn yours before. If you tear a hamstring, you're going to be done for a long time. So I text Marquise last night. I told him to let me know when he's really ready and he feels that he's ready to get out there and play. Yeah, but we, we, we need those 20 points back. Yeah, you, can, you cannot push, push that at all. No, uh, no, no, you've got to be careful with that. No Real careful about with that. that. All right, uh, while he's been uh, laid up a little bit, so to speak. Uh, we uh, did some, uh, interviewed him, okay. uh, ran champion did, and let's take a look at uh, Marquis Snow, the Trojans outstanding point guard, only a sophomore, he's from Harlem, New York. Last summer, Darrell Walker invited two of his NBA friends, Spud Webb and Muggsy Bogues, to speak to his summer camps and his players. Those two had two things in common. In their day, they were electrifying players, and both were under five foot eight inches tall. Now, six months later, it's safe to say the two had an impact on the Trojans' little guy, Marquise Noel. At 5'7", Noel is having a banner season. He's one of the Sun Belt's most electrifying players. In the Trojans' first conference game against Louisiana Monroe, Keese, as he's affectionately known by his teammates, did the unthinkable. With his team trailing late, he scored nine of his 33 points in the final 35 seconds to lift Little Rock to a 73-72 victory. Down by two. So they were coming. It's going to be Noel and maybe nobody else here. Apparently they're playing for the last shot. Noel takes a very deep three, got it! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The Trojans recruited Noel from the Northeast, Harlem, New York. And the little guy has come up big time and time again. I would be lying if I told you that I met him when I was in New York, but um, senior year of high school, I had a connection with another coach that uh, transferred me to Coach Jordan, and then we just clicked instantly. I came up to a visit here, and like he was more of a brother than a coach, and that's what the most thing that got me to Little Rock. It was really a no-brainer. Like once I realized what they were telling me, um, how comfortable they made me felt, um, that's when I knew. I wanted to come to Little Rock. The game that really made me realize Coach was a genius was probably uh, versus Missouri State, our first game, where he drew up a play, and both of the plays worked back to back. He drew one up for me and then one up for Rue, and they both worked. And I just gave him a finger like, you're, you really know what you're doing over there.
for three. No, it's a two, but it's down with 2.3 left for Monyong. And then, like, every other game, like, you'll see me, like, pointing at him for a good play, pointing at him because we both do the same thing. So, with me and him, we have a good connection. Matured, I showed him that I grew over the course of the summer, over the course of practice. And when you have a point guard who's really, like, talented, he knows what he's doing, he watches film, puts in the most hours, like, he gain, you gain trust for him. So. Coach gave me the keys. He told me, hey, I'm going to live and die with you. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep finding your teammates. Keep being better, and everything will play out how it's supposed to play out. That's, that's my guy right there, um, Coach P. We always put in work. We always adding something. We always like doing the same routine. So with him, like we put in work together. So like I love people who like getting better. He never wants to stop working. Like whenever I want to get in the gym, he's here. Whenever I call him, ask him what can I do, he's up there showing me film. So I just appreciate coaches like that. Um, and over the course of this year, our connection grew, and I know down the line it's going to be even better. Chemistry. We've been with each other for two years, so. That played a big part. Um, freshmen, we was freshmen playing big time minutes at a stage we knew nothing about. So just Coach Walker just trusted us. Um, we got better every day. We changed our practice plan up. So like I feel like last year's team, um, we didn't have chemistry. And this year's team, we have chemistry, it clicked. Uh, we know who can do what, and we try to use that to our advantage. Darrell, one of the things uh, coaches talk about and everybody talks about is the chemistry of the team. It's obvious from listening to Marquis e. Snow that the players like each other and the players like the coaches and the coaches like the players. Yeah, it's funny. In my pocket right now, I'm talking to the Rotary Club at, at 11.30 today, and the first thing I'm going to talk about is, is team chemistry. That's why we're so good this year, and it's funny that Marquise has just said that. I think if you're going to win, you got to have team chemistry, and our guys have bought in. They like each other. They hang out together, and that's good for us. You've got a couple of guys from New York. That's a, been a productive area for you. Uh, Coach Jordan. Uh, Coach <laughs> Jordan is from Harlem, New York, and Marquise is from Harlem, New York. So we definitely have a New York connection up at East Coast through Coach Jordan. All right, we'll be back with the final segment of the Dale Walker's Coaches Show. We'll hear from legendary coach Tubby Smith. When did too big to fail replace too smart to fail? When did trend overtake truth? When did putting clients first stop being second nature? For us, never. You can't take a risk in any investment that if it goes wrong and you lose it all, that you endanger the ability of the firm to survive. And that's really what Wall Street forgot. So when do you want to learn more about Stevens, one of the country's most successful investment banking firms? Are you tired of climbing over that old outdated bathtub? What if I told you a brand new beautiful walk-in shower was only a phone call away? From Mountain Home to El Dorado, Bath Makeover of Arkansas is your trusted local source for bathroom remodeling. Bath Makeover offers a full line of bathtubs, showers, and accessibility products such as walk-in bathtubs and barrier-free shower bases. Bath Makeover products are made in the USA and include a lifetime warranty plus a five-year workmanship warranty. Take advantage of our winter savings sale. Call now to save 50% off labor. Don't risk a fall from the ladder trying to clean out clogged gutters. Call LeafGuard of Arkansas. Get the only patented leaf shedding and rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. The seamless design draws water in and keeps leaves out. Little Rock Trojan fans, act now to double your bonus from a $100 to a $200 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. 1-800-678-5862. Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Won't waste any time here. We uh, left uh, Coastal Carolina, went to Boone, North Carolina. En route, we stopped uh, at um, High, Point. High Point University, and Tubby Smith, the legendary coach, was there, and we grabbed some sound with him as he talked to your basketball team. You guys don't know, this is Coach Tubby Smith. 
Yeah. 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 National Championship coach. Hell yeah, I just asked him to speak to you guys for about a minute and a half. Man, I'm impressed with your size. I haven't seen you play, but hey, we don't have anybody close to this type. But again, I want to commend you guys. It's playing college basketball is not easy. But the key is, you never know who's watching when we're out here playing. Because we know a lot of people. So you know, be coachable. That's the, most, that's the number one thing. Be coachable, it'll take you a long way. Coach has been. Coach has been a lot of places, man. How many years now you've been a coach? Man, man. I don't want to tell. All, all his life. Yeah, all my life since 18. So he's committed to it. For, for a guy, for us, and for the coaches, it's a way of life. Families depend on surviving. And you'll find it out, man. There's fun games right now. But, but if you can just stay in the moment, you know, stay in the present. Is that the precious present? Don't, don't be looking. Think about what you're going to do tomorrow, how I'm going to get to the NBA. Concentrate on today. If you can do that on every possession, every drill, every practice, every class. I, I went to school here for four years. And I, uh, I don't think I missed, and I wasn't a bright guy, but I bet I didn't miss 10 classes in my four years of college because I wanted education. But then again, I'm from 17, I got 17 brothers and sisters. <laughs> and my parents taught me getting an education was the most important thing. So I, I know you, I know you're committed because you, you're here playing at Little Rock, which is one of the outstanding programs in college basketball. It really is. There's some great coaches. We played against Little Rock. Chris Beard, he's now the head coach. We, we beat them at, at Texas Tech. He bought my home. But we paid, but oh, he was impressive. And you guys coached, I mean, you guys been the Sun Belt, right? Yes, trying to. I coached in the Sun Belt for six years, seven years at BCU. And no one in the Sun Belt, but it was a, that was a great experience. <coughs> so, good luck to you. Appreciate it, Coach. Okay, man. I know you can win it. Okay? Good luck. I'll see you hey, coach. 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 I have always thought Tommy Smith was a class guy. Class, he, class he, he, act, he man. Proved, he proved it there. I, <clears throat> I had to let him talk to the basketball team. I just couldn't let him walk out without talking to my group of guys. And he said, hey, you can practice as long as you want. <laughs> but uh, we did what we needed to do. Uh, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Darrell Walker Coaches Show. Uh, if you get a chance, we hope to see you at the Jack Stevens Center. Come out and join us. The Darrell Walker Show has been brought to you by Stevens Incorporated, Dullard's Department Stores, Cleve Addy, Bath Makeover of Arkansas, Zips Car Wash, and Leaf Guard of Arkansas. Go Trojans!